Good evening, everyone. So you've already met Christian and you understand what he's doing and why he's doing it. I just wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself and give you a little insight into life on the road with the two of us. My name is Adam Morwinski and this is Run to Heal. As you already know, spring came late this year. The snow, the cold, all of it lasted a bit longer than any of us anticipated, but Christian wasn't phased. Yeah, he was tired, but he just kept on running, kept on trucking, no matter what the elements threw at him. And although this journey has been wild and exhausting at times, we've met people along the way who help us realize why we're doing this. Christian has had the opportunity to speak to police officers, students at the Penn State Du Bois campus, and a boys and girls club in rural Pennsylvania. These are just the formal speeches he's given, but he's also been speaking to survivors and those involved in the fight every day and every step of this journey. And despite the weather, we continuously have people coming out to run with Christian all across the country. Now, before I sign off, I just want to say that the details and the specifics of Christian's abuse are brutal. This is a story that some people might not be ready to hear. And that's why we need to tell it. We need to create a society in which victims feel safe talking about their abuse. And we need to do everything we can to prevent abuse from happening in the future. So please, any of you here tonight, if you can contribute anything at all, it would mean a lot, both to Christian, to Run to Heal, and to Help for Children. So thank you guys for being here and for listening, and have a great night.